I visited the home, one of the best homes in England. Our sisters are there working. I, d I don't know, but I've never seen so much beautiful things and so much wonderful things in a home like I saw in that home. And yet, there was not a single smile on the faces of those people. All these old people, they were all looking towards the door. And I asked the sister in charge, and I said, Sister, why, sister, why are they like that? Why are they not smiling? I'm so used to see smiles on people's faces, because I think smile generates smiles, just as love generates love. And then she said, this is every day like that. They're always waiting for somebody to come and visit them. Their loneliness is eating them up. And for days after days, they keep on looking. Nobody turns up. That unwantedness is great poverty. Do we really know our poor? Do we really know the poor in our own house, in our own family? Maybe we are not hungry for a piece of bread. Maybe our children, our husband, our wife are not hungry, are not naked, are not homeless. But are you sure that there is no one there who feels unwanted, unloved? Where are your old father and mother? Where are they? And so, you and I, let us look straight into our own families. For love begins at home. Do we really understand the poverty of Christ? The poverty of our poor in our own home, in our own communities. Never turn your back to the poor. For in turning your back to the poor, you are turning it to Jesus Christ.